Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to use the hexagon cascade tray mold from Molds and Shapes and I want to pour a flower. So what I've done, I've mixed my white, the white pigment drops from Etta Art. I added two drops of the Thunder Wood or Thunder Holz from Octopus a Resin Ink into my white and also some of the Interference Champagne. And now I'm starting dropping my colors into the resin and I thought it's some sort of brown and orange tones. So the first color I'm dropping here into my mold is the Sandelholz and I went into every corner of my hexagon mold. I already filled my resin into the mold and the resin is the Mastercast resin, a high viscosity resin which I have from Etta Art, but the original brand is Elichium. So now my second color, which I drop a little bit into my Sandelholz, is the um, cinnamon. I hope I pronounce it correctly. And then I'm also dropping the cinnamon in between of my dots or drops I dropped before. And then I'm using the tangerine and I'm doing exactly the same. I'm dropping into the cinnamon and afterwards I go a little bit darker again and I'm using this Sandelholz or Sandelwood. I cannot remember how it's called now on the bottle, but it's either the German way, the Sandelholz, or the English way, the Sandelwood. So these are my colors dropped. Just a little bit of the tangerine into the sandalwood and these are my colors for my flower. Now I'm just taking the dotting tool in a second but I just make sure I close my bottle so that no alcohol ink is drying in and then I just draw a little bit my pattern and that's what I really love to do. I'm not swirling them really, I just drag my dotting tool through the colors so um, I have them fixed where I want to have them fixed because I just like it to have um, for the color itself um, yeah I don't know how to say this but you can see what I've mixed for my base color and then I have these shades of colors also into the resin I hope you know what I mean <laughs> it's just me so I really love this brownish cappuccino um, tone which I created and now I'm just pouring out of the cup. I didn't let the Mastercast resin sit because like I said it's a high viscosity resin. You just need to make sure that you get rid of the bubbles. You can use the torch, the heat gun. Mainly I'm using after pouring the heat gun just gently go on top of my resin piece. Please there also when you use the heat gun be careful um, that you are not burning your mold or your resin. So I divided my white cappuccino color into two cups and now I'm just making my hexagon spiral. I think with a spiral you get very beautiful petals and I hope you are not getting too bored um, that I'm pouring the spiral but I just love the way the petals are turning out then. So I'm just following the shape of the mold, it's just the hexagon and then I'm pouring till this cup is empty and then I have my second cup. It's better when your cup is too full that you are um, dividing your resin into two cups otherwise um, you don't have so much control. When the cup is um, too full, the resin is leaking at the side and then you are in trouble. You cannot pour so accurate then and that's why I divided this, these into two cups. So this is my first cup and empty and now I can take my second cup and I'm just following the pattern how it is. And I think those colors are really very gorgeous together. I know we are heading summer. I know we are having now very good weather. 
but I felt like using brown shades and I think it's also very elegant. This is my personal opinion. Of course, you may think differently. So, this is now my hexagon port and in fact, it looks a little bit like a spider net, I think so. And what I'm doing now, I'm just pouring around again, just the outer rim so I have enough resin there. You can always, or that's what I'm always suggesting, you can always or take your time and you don't need to rush really. So now a quick torch, also here, be very careful using the torch and then I can start drawing my petals. As you see, I waited a little bit till most of my um, spiral were closed up and then I started drawing my petals. I thought I'd just wait for a moment and yeah. Now I'm just going from the outside in and I'm drawing many, many petals. There I thought it doesn't look like, so I draw a few more petals. You see, I'm really busy. <laughs> but I think that way you get a very stunning result. So, and I'm almost done. I can do my little swirl in the center, just a quick torch. And then I read it off camera. I made a back layer and it's a sort of brownish copper flakes. I will check the proper name. Um, these are from Etta Art and this is my back layer. I made sure that I fill up my mold and then I let it cure for 24 hours. So, and... I'm very curious about the results and I'm sorry that the window is really mirroring a lot, but you will see it in a second. I'm very happy with this tray. So, and then I thought I'm going to make a bowl and I will show you how I taped it. I think I showed a few videos how to create your bowl in hot water. So... I think I don't need to show you this again, but um, yeah, I'm very happy with the petals and with the color shading of this pour. So, and this is my little tray wrapped and I wanted to have just a little bit, a hint of curve. I didn't want to have the bowl to be too deep, just a very flat bowl. So you can still see the hexagon very well. And now this is the final result. And I'm so happy with this pour. I'm happy with the petals. I'm happy with the colors. And yeah, I think the flakes are perfect with it. With this, I love and leave you. I thank you for watching and we see each other for next video. Take care, guys. Bye bye.